Yeah, but... Oh! I think Twitch is back. <laughs> At least I hope so. Yeah, it wasn't just your Twitch. The weird thing was, yeah, my stream stopped outputting, but... Did my audio stop as well? I mean, I presume it probably did. I know it wasn't on my end, because on my end it would have dropped frames rather than just completely stopping. And also the fact I didn't lose connection to the Twitch chat. What well, does this always happen when I'm streaming Valheim? This is like the second or third time Twitch has just died in the middle of it. Need to upload streams to YouTube, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I do all, I upload all the streams now. Except for, I think there's, there's bits of, one of the Space Engineers one is missing because the stream died in like the last half an hour or so and I'd have to like edit it and re-merge the bits together. Thank you for following Marshfire. Resin array. The other thing I'm not sure to do is whether to upload the Thursday stream I did. Because I only did it for about an hour and a half or so, something a bit shorter. You still there for me to YouTube? Yeah, Wildcat, I upload basically everything. Yeah, typically, I think pretty much everything gets uploaded on, like, Wednesday or Thursday. Because it's easy to just do them all at once. Oh, so I need to cook some more next. One! Well... You missed a few, yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, do I have enough inventory space for all this? Inside this stone. I think I do. Why well, is there a bit of roof corner on the ground? Because uh, I couldn't think of another shape to fit the corner, basically. I'm not sure I'm going to keep it like that. But yeah, there isn't a stone shape that fits that as far as I'm aware. Definitely prefer to use um, stone for this. Uh, plus, I'm gonna fix this. Uh, where are we? That, and then regrass it.
Because I want it to look like the sort of area around it is cleared of flammable stuff. Put some raised columns. Mm, actually, it's not quite lined up with the roof. Yeah, I think that'll work better. Hmm. Just deal with the fact it's floating on this corner, which is kind of annoying. A difference that you'd notice it. Mm. Let me try raising the ground on this side. One different, just enough to trigger OCD. Yeah, there's that. Day 96. Oh, wait a second. I've been forgetting to update the day counter. How could I? Ah, uh, that was two extra days, wasn't it? Try and dig down and then raise it back up. Ah! Storm tide! Jeez. <laughs> you put me underwater there. Aha! I think I've got it. Nope. Looks like it's fine anyway. Oh, actually, could I do like a little arch? Yeah. It's not quite gonna work. Uh, not Mr. Fun, I'm not entirely sure myself. I think most of it is creative. Why are you not attaching? Ah, there we go. Can we do a stone arch? It's not centered, no. Although, one, two, three, four, it'd be kind of difficult to do. So 
so you can't raid the base. I suppose so. I mean, space is big, so. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't mind being off center. Maybe make like a doorway, but then probably just make it. Oh, geez, that chest is nearly buried. Uh, might need to fix that. I mean, they found you, oh yeah. I mean, we keep accidentally leaving broadcasts on and having giant explosions happen around the base, that probably helps. Yeah, see, ships are pacing, they're all functional and survival. to attach underneath. Just doesn't want to. <laughs> Do it there, but why won't it? Something occupying that space, is that? <laughs> Someone else may have accidentally deleted it. Yeah, that's entirely possible. Is this gonna work? Nope, it still doesn't want to go underneath. My brain is tricking me. It thinks that's higher, even though it isn't. Need to rush... Rush Mislins. Jeez, that's optimistic. <laughs> Considering I'm what, um, 90 something days in, I only just got iron. Actually, looks like I need to go and hunt some more animals. Oh, yeah, I was looking for turnips or whatever, wasn't I? Looking for some better food options. So from wrong outpost fits a dig clean up. Yeah, poor Pav got his um, plane deleted right in front of him. That's a good option too.
I'm not sure if I want to fill this little bit up with trees or not. It'd be kind of cool to reforest it, but also kind of cool having this like ring around it. Ow. Dang it, I thought I could go through. I guess I made the spikes do well. I can't sneak through the gaps anymore. Such a comedic reaction, yeah, having the visible confusion when the ship vanishes in front of them. Ow. One annoying thing about pole arms is the attacking on uneven terrain. Pretty bad. Once I cook this food, since I've got this fancy new gear, I should probably go and wander around the swamp some more, get some combat testing in. Alright, oh, I also need to, you know, put the um, cooking things back, and the cauldron. That would also be smart. Ten ten. Actually, that might get its own separate little fire. Hmm. Ooh. Or I go for the really large one. Uh, no, that's kind of weird. Plus, I'm in a bit of a lack of at the moment. look wide enough to fit that gap. Actually, I guess if I get it precise, it looks close enough. Now, yes, I'm aware, of course, that I could just stack them way over the top of each other like this to get a million on it, but um, I prefer not to do that. Make it look at least a bit sensible. Symmetry, no. Why? I suppose what I can do is space them outside more. I want to pick up the wood, not chuck it on the fire.
That's better. Much better. Now, what to do with you? I mean... Maybe work. All oh, right, I can get the big bonfire as well. Don't oh, keep going to that chest for stone instead of the correct one. Although, I this is going to look too weird. Yeah, that doesn't quite work. <laughs> ah, didn't mean to punch a hole in the window though. The wall. That won't really work, because then if I put it on top, it'd be too high up. Hmm. Where could I put it? Don't oh, keep getting cut on that gap. Down the front on something like this. Ah, it's not centered, no. There's no room in inventory. Get my tin back. For the moment, that might work best. Hmm, could do boar jerky. Problem is, I'd have to start killing these boars and then having them give birth to new ones. That feels mean. I want to keep them all. Then again, please use them for something, otherwise they just take up a whole load of room. Oh yeah, plus again the rested buff on everyone. Yeah, that's handy. Need someone else to tell you to deliver a nice farm when you're not looking, yeah. You know. Something like that. Where's the food? I can't pick it up. No! Can't breathe in the smoke, don't care. Get all the food? I think I did. It's difficult to tell. My inventory's a bit of a mess. Let's sort that first. D Seagulls can phase through walls. You saw it here first. Luckily they haven't implemented seagulls stealing food, yeah. Oh, that would be mean. Too 
be enough food to kill sword for a little bit. Yeah, see if my gear's in mint condition. See if you find the elusive turnips. I'm pretty sure they're in the swamp somewhere. Oh yeah, did I get all the... Yep, I got all the stuff out of here last time. That's good. Let's go. It should be we yet to see one, yeah. Stuck in the trees. Now, are we going to get the horrifically derpy AI again, where they seemingly run away for no reason? Instead, they're waiting to ambush me with one-star skeletons, of course. That oh, one I missed. Dang it. Is that other one an archer? No, it's not. Good. Hello, Existence UK. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the sounds of certlings dying in the background. All is normal. Set myself on fire slightly, but it's fine because I'm in water. Alright, was there any extra stuff I left behind from this crypt? Because I'm pretty sure I cleared all the iron out of it. Ah, a bunch of random junk. It's night time. Really? Well, I guess getting the crypt fast then. Uh oh, you're an archer. Death count, no increase, yes, but I'm going to a crypt, so there's a decent chance of it increasing, I'd say. Nope. Oh no, not a blob. Blobs are bad. Blobs are very bad. Go away. And change his weapon back to the target. Blob. I know it's there. I do seem to struggle with this sort of enclosed terrain a fair bit. Oh, shiny. Uh, be a secret. I already marked this one previously because I'd seen it from a decent distance away. Let's just chuck some stuff in here. 
here and go and make a little mini base outside. Just as well mobs don't know how to jump, yeah. Make things a lot more complicated if they did. Exploring with full backpack, yeah. found any sign of um, bone mass yet. Spawner over there, that's uh, not ideal. Roof piece should snap stones fine. Hmm. That's a good point. Put a crypt in the fire entrance. Yeah, that's a good point. Normally you can't build anything inside a dungeon but fires are out. Yeah. enough. I'm trying to think, I don't think the crypts have turnip seeds in them. Well maybe they do, it's like a rare loot. I suppose if I'd have a look around then. Yeah, you just have to find them out about in the swamp. Which means more exploring. If I remember correctly, they should be easy to spot because. Aha! They kind of stand out. Hello there, leech. Well, that was fast. <laughs>
bunch more spy things. Don't see any crypts over this way. But that's what I was looking for. So let's get back to some slightly nicer weather. Uh, it might be another one to the north. I didn't see it. Ah, that's a leech. Need three to yeah, I'd immediately start growing them. Oh no! <laughs> That's not what I want to see. <laughs> that is very much not what I want to see. That was very much a almost a surprise attack. Should have known those dudes would turn up. Ow! Oh no. Bad, 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 bad. Stagger it and punch. <sighs> okay, let's definitely get out of here. No! Oh no! No! Well, dang it. Oh, and perfect time for day 97, just to rub it in. <laughs> I knew that would happen. It's a conspiracy. Well. Time to get the rest of bonus, I suppose. You went for just one minute and missed death, yeah. And right on the start of day 97 as well. One of you... One of you... And one of you. Well, I think I've got slightly better equipment this time. And uh, she'll take three fire hours. That should be enough to make a quick death run, I think. Uh, got whacked by a wraith, killed the wraith, and then uh, went into the water to try and cross the other side, and a leech was hiding there and got me. Be able to sprint back. No, my luck instead of a million enemies spawning the way. The fact that race spawn rise it become well, pretty close to daytime. Oh right, that was just the... Now I've got to check which marker it is. Okay, it's that one. <laughs> it's not the one where I drowned in the crypt uh, last stream.
Looks like I need a better path back. That's one way to celebrate day 97, yeah. Pretty much. Like elite turnips are still there. And I have enough inventory space for everything. That's good. Let's get out of here. Right, I'm meant to go this way. Then that way. Then across here. That's more like it. But yeah, the timing with day 97 was perfect that I die and then immediately up flashes day 97. <laughs> like before I even go to the respawning screen. Congratulations, you almost made it, yeah. I mean, at least it wasn't my first death. That would have been really painful. Plus, I have the turnips. That's the main thing. I just had to sacrifice a clone to do it. Control to the left? Or oh, was there? I wouldn't be surprised. I had one spawn there before. Oh yeah, there it is. Wait, how many arrows do I have? Oh yeah, if I got the 60 flinted arrows, we'll be fine. Make sure my stuff doesn't get smashed by accident. And also I don't have much health, so I'm trying to get squished. If I had more health I could maybe test out where the 8 gear can stun him, but I kind of prefer not to know. Uh, I don't know if the 8 gear would be enough to one shot him, because I have the mob uh, difficulty turned up slightly. I'm not sure if that affects staggering or just um, the amount of health I have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure BSA I tried using the egg gear on trolls and got uh, squished pretty much imme immediately. Sounds like there's a test to do, I suppose so. More turnips. Science! Or my death. And I can already hear something attacking outside. Wonderful. Uh, what Groylings managed to sneak through defenses this time? Oh. <laughs> well, that made it easy. <laughs> Gear away. 
Yeah, eight gear is the most anti-roll weapon, yeah. Inventory a bit. Let's move the trophies further down. Actually, even just move them to the other end. Oh, anti-troll, not anti-roll. I misread it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Gyro stabilized, yeah. Yeah. The yeah, gear is actually a gyro, that's why you do the spinning around attack. Uh, I could make carrot soup, but then I've got to find a place to get red mushrooms from. It's raspberries, raspberries, raspberries. Like just outside the wall, there's like two mushrooms, but that's not really enough. Deer, stew, blueberries, and carrots, similar problem. Fish, this meat sauce, Queen's jam. Mushrooms are random. Mm. Still got six iron to work with. I don't want to hurt the balls. <laughs> Let's see, iron chest. I've probably got the forge bellows, haven't I? Yeah. 20 iron for smiths, anvil. 59 for forge tool rack. Let's let those turnips grow. Oh, I'm not going to stay more. Hmm, sounds like I do actually need more iron. Which is slightly annoying. <laughs> See, I got a whole load of it and then used it all on weapons and then still died anyway. Or 
always need more iron. Yes, that's very true. Ah, it's not worth going for iron armor. I don't iron armor, bronze. Oh, Twee iron for each bit of armor. That's annoying. Actually, can I get the fourth level troll armor? Pretty sure that was a upgrade I needed, wasn't it? I need level five workbench. Three upgrades currently. Effectively still black bars too. Uh, you can change drop amounts here. Well, that is very much a thing. I mean, you can also just allow everything to be portaled. Yeah, iron grind is not the most entertaining thing in the world. That's very true. These are all forge improvements. something else in the swamp that I'm missing. Now I've got Gark. Got chains. Missing feels like for unlocking more stuff, or maybe that's after bone mass, which I haven't even found where he's yet. Oh, oh, the root, yeah. Though for that, I'm gonna need A to find one, and then B a million arrows. <laughs> Rude armor. That's true, but rude armor is very useful later. Yeah, death mosquito resistance is the main thing. Crossbow and a couple other parts, you know. Well, I suppose I better empty out this other crypt. Help against other bugs, yeah. Not as much as the bone mass buff, but the problem is if you've got a Deskito bearing down you unexpectedly, you may not be able to react quick enough. <laughs> with a lot of the buffs is only to last for five minutes which really isn't a long time and then you've got to wait was it 15 or 20 to use them again and especially like with moda you sail a long distance and you only use the power for like maybe 10 20 percent of the journey because the journey short enough you just won't bother Anything but other bugs. Nah. So I suppose bone mass has more general use. Okay, 
let's go. Bring them there. Right, there wasn't anything on that side. I can hear the enemies behind that. Okay, it looks fine. Well, two scrap items for the first two bits, that's crucial. Ooh, plus five. Just want the cooldown single player, yeah. Yeah, with larger amount of opponents, it grows stronger. I think also having to go back to the style to switch powers is also kind of annoying. Because I find like 95 plus percent of the time I have Ike there. Just because it's the one that's always useful. That a red reflective glow, is that what I think it is? <gasps> Yay! It's one of the markers for where bone mass is. And then it's probably gonna tell me bone mass is a million miles away. Bone mass. Oh! <laughs> well, that um makes it a bit easier. It's literally just at the other end of I'm guessing it's just on the other side of the island. <laughs> that was a lot closer than I was expecting it to be. I thought it'd be like way out here somewhere. Not just oh, you're right next to it. So yeah, planes help me get out of rough situations. Yeah. Right, bone mass. My problem is always trying to activate those powers while I'm being attacked. Especially with my preferences for lighter armor. Mushrooms, bone. Oh, Ruby hiding under the bone. At least sign the iron back this time will be uh, much faster with the new boat. Blobs. Go away. Where's the other one? Did I kill both? I thought I could still hear it. What did I need? Do I need that? Do I need that? Whoa! How's the water so deep? <laughs> Burger faster than I won. Considering 97% of the time you're gonna have the wind blowing in your face. That 
I mean, it is a fair point, certainly. I mean, it will be a lot faster because it's got a much higher rowing speed, if I remember correctly. So even when the wind's against me, it's quite a bit faster. The one tricky thing is the boat is a lot longer and kind of less maneuverable. The bigger the boat, more difficult it is to row with one person. I mean, the person also manages to row without actually touching the oars, so that's kind of impressive. Alright, prepare the pickaxe, which is kind of the whole point. I suppose that's why I don't end up using the better pickaxes until I have to, just because it's easier to just use the basic one and then just repair it at a workbench like that. Instead of having to make some epic journey. Yeah, not Mr. Fun. Weirdly, it doesn't mind that word on its own, but combined with a lot of other things, it does. Are you taking four copper with you every time you set up a new portal? Pose. Said something about wind, yeah. Six copper. I don't remember how much copper it is for a forge. It might be six. Plus the problem of course with carrying copper is you can't use portals. Oh. Another one? Well that doesn't help. Don't find one of these markers and then the one places two of them. Get through that gap, I guess. <laughs> That's anticlimactic. Ow. It's like perfectly spaced to stop me coming through. I think it's this bit.
Uh, not Mr. Fun. That was more a sort of mod idea thing rather than... Which I think might actually exist. I mean, the problem with just having portable ores is... Well, you wouldn't have all these inventions in the swamps where I keep dying. One thing. But yeah, I imagine at some point, like when I needed truly ridiculous levels of iron for something, I'd probably change it. Just because it gets so tedious. Like, it's not too bad now when there's, you know, it's not that much of a sailing journey back to base, relatively speaking. It's when it starts to become 40, 50 minutes an hour sailing back where it becomes a problem. That's just this way. Do I have a portal board set up? Hmm. I'll just have it have the boat carry around the bits. I mean, longship's got enough storage we probably do. That. And you still have problems with high level stuff. I will thirty six pickaxe. Oh, wait a second, does this lead to another area? I thought it was just a good end. Sound of unbinding from there. So there's at least a bit more. Yeah, the sound, it very well captures the um, squelchiness, let's say. Okay, there's definitely something on the other side of this. No? I can hear it. again. At least it's a straight line back. Can't get lost. Then again it is me. Item stack 97. I did not do that on purpose. I had nothing to do with this. Oh, I forgot to repair the pickaxe. <laughs> and right, yes. I suppose what I could do is if I didn't want to use the portals, I could insert and turn the um, resource rate up to times 1.5 or times 2. Probably not times 3 because it gets very ridiculous very quickly. You're like constantly having to build more storage. Like, and low level mobs like explode into more loot that's, well, loot that's bigger than they are. There's still more. Leather scrap is not what I'm looking for. 
Hey, if you find a side of the the balls, it will at least look ridiculous. Yeah. Just kill the balls and then they just explode in a giant pile of scraps. Especially if you find like a one or two star like deer, they just dead. <laughs> Still saying there's a little bit of scrap pile, but I don't think I can get it. It's like. It's not going to fix the problem of having to sail for the one third of the stream, yeah, but it means it's not going to have to happen as often. Okay, how much iron have I got? Oh, I need 36. It's not brilliant. Very quickly, someone said they thought they saw another one further north. Let's go and have a look. Oh, it's daytime. Whoa! Hello, Dominator. Also, ow! Where are we being shot from? Ow! Jerks hiding. Oh, two of them. Actually, that one is unmarked, so I'll come up to an iron later. What I was thinking I could do is have a look on my starting arm whether I, there's any swamp there, because there's. I know there's planes. Uh, I think it's both HP and damage, it's just they're overall slightly better. Ah! Don't use the hammer near the chest, that'd be bad. Go the wrong way. Oh. Hello. No. <laughs> oh, and the skeleton tried to sneak up on me at the same time. Multiple skeletons. Why has this place become so crowded all of a sudden? Maybe I do need a like, one handed weapon with shield just for the more. The enemies are only fighting one of them at a time. How. The leech. Maybe that. Dang it, I can't like raise the leech onto land just doing this. Almost. <laughs> that would seem. feels like a cheat. Yeah, so I would defeat a leech by terraforming underneath it. Leech is certainly persistent. Just box it in, yeah. Pet leech. <laughs> Build an aquarium with leeches. And left, jump over this branch. 
and go that way. Because there's... Yeah, there's planes at the bottom corner, which makes me think there might be... A swamp around, potentially. Plus, if it's only a tiny bit of planes, I might be able to sneak in and grab some stuff. And I'm pretty sure I was there for more than a day, so I've got to update that counter. Bark under. Put under wood? I did. Woo, one day, yeah. Progress. don't want to risk the new boat. I mean, I should take the boat from the islands, just land along here somewhere, back down a portal, and then run around and explore. Because this is plain. There should be some swamp here, hopefully. And once again, running out of food. Fantastic. Uh, let's just take some shrooms instead. I'm sure it'll be fine. stuff for two portals which I get the feeling is going to be getting more fine wood. 40 fine wood. Yep I've only got 20 okay. I like how it's just, you can tell where I've been cutting down trees because there's this big strip of open. Praise the sun. Yeah. Still not made a forest yet. There's just so many things on the list to do. <laughs> Isn't it a good thing to have things to do in Sandbox game? Well, yes, it is. I think it's when it gets to the point where it's overwhelming with like the amount of time things take is where it starts to become a problem. Kind of the entire selling point in 20 games, yeah. I suppose some games have it more than that, was like 
basic thing is there isn't much beyond building stuff, which on its own is plenty. But it's not like Valheim where if I, oh, I want to unlock this stuff, I've got to go and fight this boss or whatever. I want to do A, but I also need thing B, which requires C, and then there's thing D's to waiting, yeah. Often the case, like for a long time, the issue was not finding certain cores and crypts, and now I've got a supply. It's the wood that's the issue. Until you make it a scrapyard that's fine next to build, yeah. Oh, squirrel do thing why, yeah. That usually happens when you can't decide between a bunch of choices and you're agonizing over it, and suddenly you have an idea for something completely different and you do that without even thinking about it. Actually, yep, it's that way. At least I should only need one port of these because I'm just making one for not having to keep sailing across. Yeah, we've got some berries as well, that's good. So it was 40, yes. And 20 grade will find full sailing core. Sailing core are easy, I'm basically getting a supply whenever I go to the swamp. Greater fires. I've got oh, actually, not that many left. I guess I haven't really been around the forest at night to whack them. Actually, you should probably grab the rest of buff. Ah, the 30 seconds feel so long when you're just sitting there doing nothing. There we go. Ah, back here again. Lovely. So no planes is on this corner, so I want to sail uh, like here somewhere. Because as far as I can tell, this is all part of the main island. As long as you don't count the uh, little rivers that sort of split it in half. There.
Oops. <laughs> the wind is with us. It's miraculous. Oh no! Wait, turn around. Uh, I'm not using it a lot, BSC here, because it's A, going to be such a short trip, and I kind of prefer not to lose it on scouting expeditions. And I also remembered I kind of need to, you know, put the portal down that it's going to connect to. I mean, I was mainly using this boat because it's already here. one. East. End. Yeah, that's always an option B. So you have one unconnected one. Of course I'm going to be landing at night. I guess I'll make it more exciting. Go. Please don't crash into that plane's over there. Sea serpent. I don't. I don't think the war is deep enough here to get a sea serpent. Sea troll, yeah, go watch out for those, they're nasty. They are not to be trifled with. character is wet, you don't say. Meadows, even better. Prepare for beaching speed. Oh, so much for that being like uh, being meadows. Close enough. Full speed ahead. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um, how did that great orphan not see me? I mean, I know it's dark, but you think they'd be able to see me running straight at them? Room to do because I never remember to bring the wood with me for the workbench. Oh, that's good, Domino. Are you playing on the server or your own single player? Nope. It's like some more people who don't approve of my 
intruding. Shaman, or just surprise attack him by whack him in the face. It's another way of doing it, I suppose. Ah, oh, it's on a different server. Go. Just cut down a couple of trees and put eh, not like defenses, but just like some walls around it. Whoa! Jeez. That was close. Trees haven't killed me yet, although they've certainly tried. Oh. More beady eyes emerging from the darkness. Well, I guess at least it's giving me plenty more Great Wolf eyes. Oh. Really? Oh, one star brute. Lovely. Ow! Uh oh. Yeah, you put up a bit of a fight. Yeah, fifty wood, that should be enough. Looks like my enemies are on the way to interfere again. If it's the last one. Okay, looks clear for the moment. Let's go back to base, sleep through night, and then start exploring. And I probably should have destroyed the boat. Yeah, at least I didn't have to get rid of a wet debuff first. Day 99! Woohoo! Two days since last death. Since death on day 97. Oh, that was painful. Yeah, 
Yeah, I do quite like that arch. It's just... It feels big without feeling enormous compared to everything else. I ended up getting rid of these walls, actually. I don't think these need to be here. Oh good, boat's still here. Oh, this is the meadows. This was just night time, so all the cradles were coming out of the forest. That's the faster way to do this. Yep, that's everything. Okay, let's see if we can explore that getting motorized. And depending on how big that planes is, maybe even sneak into it. Steal some stuff. Because I do have a tiny bit at the end of the island base that is considered to be planes that I should be able to grow uh, like flax on and stuff if I can steal some. On here, how many arrows? I got 47. I can afford to spare some. That's a rock. That's not the ball. <laughs> Amazing eyesight. No, that's a multi-star deer. No, 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 no. Got it. Yeah. Oh, more boss. It does seem to be pretty big. Let's um, skirt around the edges and see how big it is. Okay, it looks like most of it's actually proper plains, it's just not much along the coast. Oh, there's two balls out there, that's so tempting, so mean. Ah, uh, Domino, it's more loot. I forget the percentage values, but it's just more in general.
Wait, so this bit is meadows, but then it becomes plains? I'm confused. Hang on, let's zoom in the map for a thing. Oh, it's like... This is meadows, which is what is freaking me out. So the meadows is actually just that bit down there. Hmm, what have we got? Oh, that's just a grayling. It looks like just a tower. I don't see it. Oh! Well. I mean, I suppose I could try to lure him into the plane, but I don't think that'll work very well. Closer, but I probably don't want to risk it. Hmm. I like sneak into the. Well, I've confused the deer successfully. Wait, what if I scare the deer out there? They can do the scaring for me. Oh, there's Death Skeeto. Oops, going after the deer. Let's, um, not get involved in that. Oh no. Uh oh. Does it see me? Okay, I think that skitter was chasing something else. Oh no, there's a one star fueling. This is bad. Retreat! Retreat! Oh boy. I. could probably kill a death skitter with the 8 gear, but. Not so confident about a starred fueling. That sounds like an imitation to painful death, especially when I've only got 68 health. I don't want to kill a squirrel creature, but I'm fine with making it run to its death, yeah. Let's go down this way and have a look from the other side. What did that deer do to you? I sacrificed him to gain um, tactical knowledge. <laughs> In this case, what I've learned is there is a lot of forest like right up to the edge of the plains, which is not good. It means I can't, like, snipe things from a distance, especially with this terrain. It's inconvenient. Yeah, what's this weird sort of stone path? Okay, can I poke my head? Oh, hang on. I mean, I could shoot that, but then how am I going to get over there? I hope that's just normal wood. Doesn't look like there's anything out here. Oh. Where's the deer going? Is 
Oh. Oh, Fueling's chasing it. Hang on. This I might be able to work with. If I can take you out. Where's it gone? Oh, is it still... Ch yes, the Fueling's still chasing. Ah! It's a bad time to get a... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Might have bitten off more than I can chew here. Oh, yes. Hang on. Um, I really hope I can stagger or I'm in a world of pain. No! I've missed. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. The epic 1v1 is on. Okay, I have to just keep staggering him and he won't be able to hit me. <laughs> Cue the epic battle music. And then it starts raining, yeah. Where's the lightning and thunder flashing on the mountain? I think it's going to be a bit of a battle of attrition, but I should be able to win this. I'm just going to wait for him to charge and then... <laughs> Kapak's oh yeah, Kapak, version of the... Um, what's the music called? This isn't exactly the most exciting combat in the world, where it's just me perpetually staring at him and then running away. Maybe it was Yakety Sax. Or was it Benny Hill? I don't remember. Oh! Greylings come in to, Greylings have come in to join the battle, apparently. The, Fueling is now very confused on who to attack. Well, that's what's going to happen to me, if I'm not careful. Got it. <gasps> Black Mel Scrap. One! Can't be teleported. Well, that's inconvenient. I also don't think I can... Um, do you think I can even refine it? I forget. If it, I'm pretty sure it needs its own special thing to refine. like a village or something where I could swipe some flax from. Ow! That's the wrong one. The only thing I do is plant some more trees at home. Actually, from talking about doing a fine wood farm, hmm. I could use that like little loop mini island to put the Fine wood in the middle. Take the wrong drawing on the wrong side of the galaxy. That would be inconvenient. Which tree type was it again? It was birch. It 
seems right because there's beach for the two normal ones and then birch is the pine one I believe. And if I've got it wrong I know Chad is about to shout at me. <laughs> I mean, I could just go and find one up here to check. Correctly, go me. Uh, so, where's the bed I'd planted? Ah, yeah, it was like this little bit here that's sort of like its own mini island. Yeah, so I figure use this middle bit here because it'll still look fine when the trees aren't there and they're just around the outside. And I've got plenty of space. And obviously the base is just there. I've got plenty of room. How many did I have again? 20... Oh, so I had like 30. Maybe I should have had more of a consistent pattern, but whatever. It's fine, I'm sure. Stupid grinding's getting in the way. You won't trick me into destroying a seed this time. Slightly crowded. Wait, did I not plant normal trees here? Or did they not grow? Ah, three more seeds. Surely I can find some room here somewhere. Nope, that's seed there. Seed there. About up here. That'll do. I yeah, probably don't mind a little bit of overlap. There we go. All done. Oh, dodge the spikes. Um, we'll find out how well those grew next time, because it's getting a bit late. I'll be back Monday for more, well, presumably in Shrouded, with Spitzy, Kavaka, and Texfire, and then... 
more Silent and Shroud on Tuesday. So I'll see you then. Bye.